So, we're back, and for a lot of umming and ahhing, let's finally get down to your... Why you became an... What was it? An Imperial... I don't know. The Imperial Consul. The Imperial Consul. The pencil pusher. The, the cocktail drinker. Tell us why. So, I... My first proper event as foul was yeah. a player event set in Thurunin called No Return. Okay. And it was the best Empire event I've ever been to. Okay. Um, written by Dave Young and his team, yeah. and you know, lots of people helped him, but he sort of, I think, he organised it and did the majority of it. Yeah. He wrote individual little plot documents for every character that went. That that shows you someone who who really really wants to push. We had a giant tree to fight at the end, and then what's better? Because it was the week before the main line. Yeah. We got stuck. Like we were trapped at the end of the event, and then we got to start the main E one, the main line. Yeah. On the other side of the Sentinel Gate. Oh, okay. And I remember Tom Hancock saying just before we timed in, he said, "You don't know the portals. You know, you don't know that the portal might open. Yeah. You don't know if anyone's coming to save you. We'd sent off wing messengers, yeah. but you don't know if anyone's coming to get you. You might have to re-roll at quarter past six. Good luck." And then we all timed in. Wow. And it was like a, a rushing fight to just bimbling around because you couldn't go anywhere yeah. because you didn't know, you know, you were supposed to be wandering in the direction, but you couldn't just walk towards yeah. the main field. You know, we knew where it was our character. Yeah. Um, but anyway, I digress. So You also told a bit of a storyline. I did. And you hate people telling storylines, don't you? Yeah. Just, yeah. just to throw that you out. really, though. really hate people telling stories of what they've done at yeah. events, don't they? Yeah, didn't, didn't, didn't go down well that line, did it? No. No. So, just openly, apologise for making those type of comments, and if you are... Hate you, is a very strong word. It is. It's a very strong word. So, my apologies if I offended anyone in the choices of words I used. Uh, you're all... You all make your own, you know, content, you do what you do, um, and... Yeah, I'll shut up and never say anything like that again. Well, no, I think it's a valid point. I don't like, I don't want to know lots of in character information. Yeah. Well, that, that's what that's where because I was kind of going with it. It's stuff that you know, unless it's common knowledge. Yeah. Like it's it's all well and good telling people what's on the wiki. Yeah, that's. That, I'd say yeah. that's fine. I think my um, thing was more but you stuff do... that you don't know. So things that were secret between people, or say for example, a coven's trying to do something. And I don't want everyone to know. Like. Don't create content that, that tells everyone because that, that breaks game for, for individuals to find out. Yeah. I just think the way I put it most probably wasn't the best way. Yeah, um, I mean, like, obviously we're not affiliated with PD. No. Um, but if you're going to, I don't know, if you're going to put content out, like make sure you read the guidelines yeah. of what you can and can't say. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're, oh, you're, I... no, your boy on YouTube, you know. Rick Van Rick. Man. Oh, the most wholesome man in the Empire. He has a very, very big man crush. Look at I, that face. I really like Rick's meditation videos. Okay. They are so, I also really like his allotment videos. Okay. This has gone a bit weird now. Let's let's get back to okay. uh, on track with your... I also like Bob Ross. Can I say that? <laughs> you can. You can say if you like Bob Ross. Anyway, back to the <laughs> point of foul, why we're here. Um, so, you've... You've got hang to... on, hang on. So, I, <laughs> so my first event as foul was no return. Yeah, you wimbled through. Right. You've done what you needed to do. So right, you're on the other I, side now. No, hang on. The the point was it wasn't that at all. Okay. So there were some great forest orcs there, yeah. and they were the first foreign uh, foreign people I'd ever met in character. Yeah. And. They were so. There was something so real about <coughs> those characters, and that they weren't. You know, they had their own agenda, but they were in need. Yeah. Um, they they didn't have anything to offer, but they needed our help. And it, I kind of I saw a side to the empire that a lot of people don't get to see, because there's not a million and one NPCs running about. There's not, you know, a massive amount of of stuff that's accessible to everyone and I was so lucky that I saw that one encounter and that yeah. one event sort of created my entire character goal yeah so he that shaped him to to 
to be what he would eventually yeah. become. So I, you know, I met them, and then E one. I spent the entire entirety of E one um, trying to push that agenda. That obviously, you know, for probably a year or even more before that, yeah. these orcs had already been encountered, and there were people already doing things, and there were like plots and storylines going on with these orcs and other foreigners that I had no idea about yeah. because this was a bit of the game I'd never seen before. Okay. Yet, I managed to sink my teeth into it and get involved just because I persisted. And I think being an orc helped Yeah. because you can, you can put on this personification of confidence that I definitely didn't have. Well, it's you know, the, it's the mask, very, isn't it? I was a very quiet character for the first couple of years that you know of the characters I played for the first few years. Mm. I, you know, I'm quite a person in general, mm. um, but being foul, or be it rather being an orc now that I knew, or had like grounding for that I had, uh, this this is where you prepare for interviews. Yeah, but you can't you can't script everything you're going to say. No, I know. So I guess it really helped having a character that I knew. The mindset of yeah that I knew what I wanted to do with yeah so everything I did at the subsequent events led yeah. me to the one goal which was inevitably to become Imperial Console I didn't you know there were there was a long time between E4 last year so 2017 and yeah. E1 2018 where I really didn't think I wanted it and I thought hmm I don't get to see my nation enough. I don't get to enjoy being an orc enough because I'm always out and about doing other things. Yeah, I mean, Do I, I really want to be so far away from the rest of everyone. Yeah. And I really had doubts that that was the game I wanted. I mean, I rarely see you at all. I think I've seen you for about five minutes. Yeah. Maybe even. I think. I, so I, I'd actually timed it last event. Yeah. I spent 35 minutes of the entire event in the orc camp. Yeah. Or with orcs. Yeah. Um, you know, it now my entire event is taken up by the title that I have because it's a lot of work. I, mean, I absolutely love it. I wouldn't change it for the world. Yeah. I, it's sort of it is my game, and I've yeah. made it my game. But it it took a hell of a lot of work to get there, and it well. So I got there in I got elected in six events. I started as foul. Or rather six mainline events I started as foul at a winter solstice 2017 yeah. summer solstice 2018 I was elected yeah. I did six events of hard, hard graft not necessarily canvassing but I got involved in everything I could yeah. I proxied for the orc advisor I stood in senate as orc advisor yeah. briefly um, I got very much involved in the people that had positions of not necessarily power but definitely influence yeah um but it was it was something that i really didn't know i wanted until the election i was fighting for it and okay. i realized this is exactly what i want this is what i want to do this is how foul is going to change the world okay and it it really harks back to the sort of the skywise banner and that we want to change the world. We want to affect everything we can. We don't just want to play in our nation. Yeah. We want to have a big impact on the game. Yeah. And, you know, it's it should be the goal of every player to want to become an exemplar and a paragon. It's Foul's goal, obviously, to be an ancestor. And to do that, you, in my eyes, you've got to be remembered by every orc in the game. Yeah, for the significant things that you've done. Yeah. I agree. So, uh, me going for that title, and not just having the title, because... You know, orcs don't like honorifics. Generally speaking, you'll only use titles if you really have to, if you've got to put them on documents or if people need to like know your credentials. Yeah. Me saying I'm the first orc imperial console mm. really doesn't matter if I don't do anything with it. Yeah. But you are going to. I mean, that. Well, I'd, I'd like to think I am. I mean, I've written the longest treaty, or rather, I have. You've written on a lot of paper and drunk a lot of cocktails. I, hang on, we'll get to the co so. I'd like I'd like to think I'm doing a lot with it. You know, I yeah. have written the longest treaty of peace with the foreign nation since the interregnum. Okay, which is a pretty, I think it's a pretty big deal. 
I, just, I don't know, that was a lot of work. I missed the Empress's wedding, didn't get any cake. That was a shame. That was mm. a really nice wedding. I, I wasn't um, invited. No. I'm not in your percent. That's, well, that's the problem. I was... There, I think there were only two walks invited. Yeah, I wasn't and there. I was the only one that went for all of ten minutes. All I got to see a really nice play. What does Fout actually want to achieve? What I really want to achieve... Yeah. I want to be able to go to a lands meet. Yep. I want to have time to sit down with the orcs and just chill out. Yeah. I want to carry on... You know, I want to carry on all the work I'm doing. I want to be able to carry on sitting in the Imperial offices, beavering away, sorting out the, the problems of everyone... And everything. Yeah. Um, I want to. I want to continue going to a sale, the best holiday event of the year. Um, I didn't get on that one this year, did I? You nearly did. I nearly did. I think you were on the. You could have done, but then you booked. Did you oh yeah, no, I could have done, and then, again? and then I had something else come up that I chose to do instead. Yeah. All right. So, so hang on. So let let me ask the question properly. So my if I wasn't to die in a year, yep. What would my goal be this year? Yeah. Do you want to like maybe wear another coat? Wear another coat. Yeah, or a different bit of armor. It's not great goals, mate. That's not a great goal. No. All right. So I don't know. I don't really. I don't. I don't want to set a specific goal because okay. I have no idea what's coming up. It's there's so the winds of war and fortune could mm. change everything. Yeah, know? we could lose Scarsind or we Urizen or Har- or Harmark or Wintermark. Yeah, um, that's fine. Don't worry. We could sort of the fate of the empire could change next event. Yeah, it could. Um, be. So my big ambition is to make every orc in the world imperial. Okay, and that's a long goal. It's yeah. going to take longer than a year. Hopefully, I won't die. Okay, so, big, big question. Dream pit fighting Dream match. Pit fight. Who would you fight? This is who I would want to who, fight. Who would you fight? Who would you take on? So, I think... I think from an outside perspective... Yeah. Fal and Yargol fighting... That would be pretty... Would be... That'd be tasty. Pretty... I was going to say dope, but that is not a word I say. No, it's not. Um, You're not that cool, mate. I don't... No, of course I'm not. I, look at me. I wear, I'm not he, cool. He wears beige. So, I don't really want to fight Matt, though. No. I don't think that would be... I don't think it would be a good fight. You know, obviously... I think I think, I think the we, names... We would, would have a good fight, yeah. but we wouldn't have a good fight. I think the names would, would, would create a lot of appeal to people. They'd be like, oh, wow, these two... These two people are going against each other, and you know we really want to see it. Like a lot of people I know would love to see Yago get in there, um, but I wouldn't win. But you don't know. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't win. You know. All right. So if you're, if you think that think, those those think, two names would be good, who do you think that you could tear the house down with? I think George would be interesting to fight. Craig would be a good fight. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, George, George is breaking in the new general. Breaking That'll in the new general. Fight. I mean, I put the last general for a table. You did. I mean, what are you going to do? Do you want to get a flaming table? Should we up the ante one more? I mean, I could set him on fire. Yeah, PD have got rules, mate. I could pull his nose ring out. You. That would be pretty tasty. I kind of like that. No, that's... Oh, no, I'm not Druge. No. I'd probably... Well, no, I wouldn't use magic on him, because that just gets dull. If you paralyse yeah. someone, it's like, oh, you're not... No, we're, to- we're talking hand-to-hand. We're talking... You know, um, we're talking the rumble, we're talking ball versus scar, we're we're talking all that juicy stuff that people are, are, are coming to see. I, I honestly don't know who I'd like to fight against. I mean, I would love to, you know, Matt would love to fight anyone. I'd yeah. be well up for pit fighting almost anyone. So, alright, so let's say then, Foul, Dream, however, okay, Foul's, I mean, he's, he's a fighter, he's yeah. good at fighting, he's not like he's not a puncher. He's mm. not a, a. What would you call that? He's not a. He's not a fisticuffs fighter. No. He's but not a, I think I think we're gonna we're gonna say right there, Yargo versus Foul. Coming to a pit near you. It's gonna happen. No, I don't. 
Yeah. No. Well, I I, I'm going to say I don't see good. why anyone would care. I don't know. I was just trying to wrap I'd the video like to, up, but you're making it long. I think Fallon Yargo having some sort of political rap battle no. might be cool. No. Just that, like preaching each other's no, ears. No, that wouldn't be cool. No one wants to see that. No? No. Anyway. That has been... Is that the end? That is the end. You can... Can I go now? You can go. Back back to my house that we're in. Yeah, yeah we can. Yeah. yeah, okay. Anyway, that has been an interview with the banner behind the mask of Skywise Val. Thank you very much for watching. You never thought I'd look like this, did you? No. Disgusting. Wrong, and then you. Well, you... so I, I. Was... So let me ask the question again. Hang on, I need to figure out who I want to find first. Oh my days! <laughs> oh my days! Why did I agree to interview you? Oh. <laughs> who do I want to? Find? Sorry, I'm talking about storylines, and you don't like. Them. Yeah, we've gone through that bit. <laughs> Shut up. Come on. What do you think Fowl's best quote is? What do I think my best quote is? Mm. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Stop laughing. That's what we turn the camera back on for. You can do that. Well, <laughs> seriously, no. <laughs> well done. You've made it to the end of the video. I'm proud of you. Now, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And uh, if you're feeling nice, feel free to leave a comment at the bottom. If not, I don't like you anymore. Hmm. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.